Boys and girls, boys and girls, join it in. Having a long to the funky beat. Yeah. Then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without any further ado, please welcome him here for one night only at Lovely Hendra. Go crazy, give a big cheer for the comedy talents of Mr. Jack Lamell. Come on, good evening, everybody. No, 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 we can do better than that. Let's have a big cheer. Good evening, everybody. All right, clap your hands. Let's have a little dance. Have a little sway. Feel free to sing along, kids. Yeah, and the mobs and dads. We're allowed to do it now. Sing along. Here we go. Ready? Join in. I've got something to tell you. Sing along. Come on. Got something to say? Oh yeah, we're gonna put these wheels in motion. I never let nothing stand in my way. When the going gets tough, your turn. Everyone sing. Hey, no bad. More clapping. Go on, have a clap. Gonna get myself a the river. Yeah, the river. That's the price I'm willing to pay. Your turn, ready? I'm gonna make you stand and deliver. Lovely ladies, give me love in the old-fashioned way. You're smiling. Darling, I climb any mountain, your turn. I do any one all together. Oh, oh, oh. Can I touch ya? I do the things that lovers do. Lovers, you know what I mean. Come on. Wanna hold ya? I'm gonna get it true. Right, everyone this time, clapping and singing this time. Going gets tough. Come on. Nice, going gets from this side. Yeah, 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 right. have a sway, don't just sit there, everybody sway, we're doing it at a pace, come on, sway. I'm gonna buy me a one-way ticket, sway, 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 nothing's gonna hold you back, cause your love's like a soul train, coming, coming, come on, not feel it, coming down on the track, your turn, sing it. I climb any mountain, go on, I'm not doing one all together, oh, oh. Can I touch ya? I do the things that lovers do, lovers, yeah. Slap! <laughs> Wanna hold ya? I'm gonna get it through. Right, last chance, join in, sing in. Going gets tough, come on. Oh, that's the way Andre had it been ready. Tough gets rough, yeah, yeah. Let's have a dance, here we go, I'm dancing. Just me and the two girls then. Alright, don't worry about it, you're doing well, ladies. I can't do it quite as good as you, I'll just sing. Here we go, singing, clapping, ready? Darling, I climb any mountain, your turn. I swim any sea, go on. I'll reach for the heavens one more. With you loving me, sing. Oh, oh, oh. I do the things that lovers do, lovers, come on. Oh, and I hold you. This time, mate, gonna get it through. Right, everyone, ready? Going gets tough. Not bad, going gets rough this side, that's right. Nice, going gets tough this side. And one big finish, all together. Going gets rough, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Give yourselves a massive round of applause. Come on, Andrew, let's go crazy. Woo! That's it, we're enjoying ourselves now. Woo! Woo! Cheers, guys. Yeah, I'm living the dream here at Hendra. Woo! 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 Oh, you're still doing it. Cool. What? Most people have given up by now. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, little man, hello, mate, how you doing? Have you swept the stage? Well done, pal. He's doing a good job, isn't he? He's doing a good job. Hey, little man, little man, little man. What's your name? What's your name? Little dude, what's your name? John Boy, John Boy, John Boy, John Boy, John Boy. How you doing, mate? I'll tell you what, John Boy, you've got your sword, that's cool. Go back. And, and the lovely ladies know John Boy. Hello. Ladies, I'm not doing any more songs. You may as well sit down. It's going to be weird just dancing along to me talking. Um, I know it's weird, but you look lovely. And I'll tell you what, I've made it here tonight, not just for you lovely ladies and John Boy and my mate. Hello, mate, what's your name? What's it? William, cool name, William, William. I'll tell you what, hello, mate. Is it just a game? I nearly didn't see you in your camouflage. <laughs> I know. Cheers. Hey, I'll tell you what, John Boy, be careful of that sword on the stage because honestly I've got really narrow feet. So, kids, John Boy, hello mate. I'm not John Boy, I'm Jack. I'll, actually, I'll introduce myself. My name's Jack. Hi everyone. Hi guys. If you see me on an aeroplane, don't come up to me and go, hi Jack. They don't like it. <laughs> But I've made it here tonight for you lovely people, the kids here, the lovely ladies, and all the wonderful people here at Hendra. 
Yeah. Right, right. Do you know what, mate? It's your birthday, is it? No way. I tell you what, if you're really good at going and sit down, we'll sing happy birthday at the end. That'll be cool, won't it? He's off, he's off. Is it your birthday as well, mate? Is it? Go and sit down next to John Boy. Good boy. I know, I nearly picked a fight with what's he called that? Uh, Captain America. <clears throat> Looking good, man. <laughs> Captain America and John Boy. Kids. Hello, little lady. What have you got there? You got a little bear? I know. Do you know how many times I've asked someone to be a little bear for me? Anyway, um, uh, you don't get that because you're a child. Anyway, isn't that good? What's your name, little lady? Millie? No way! That was my name when I was a little girl. Yeah. Oh, Millie. It was! Well, I'm a boy. I know I had a strap of to me. Anyway, Millie, kids. I... Right, I've made it here for you lovely people tonight here at lovely Hendra and I want a bigger cheer for the place because we're on holiday aren't we everyone? Yeah. And we've all had a sombre couple of days so we need to be a, a bit more fun. We'll have a great time because we're here on holiday and I want a big cheer for the place because no offence you picked it. Right so yeah exactly you're here now and the sun was shining today and we're gonna have a great time. Mate's coming through with the drinks. Good idea pal. Well done. The more you drink the funnier I get. Neck him. Go back and get another one. Anyway I know look at him. I won't be picking on him, look at him. I know, he's the sort of bloke that if I caught him in bed with my missus, I'd tuck him in. I would. I know, mate, I'm not gonna argue. This guy's got a baby, so everybody, shh, here we go. That's all right, he's got the baby, he knows what he's doing. Kids, mums and dads, everybody, we're on holiday. Let's go crazy, Millie, are you ready? Everybody's gonna cheer, because we're on holiday here at Hendra! Yay! I know, wow. Not a bit of damp, have I? No, I did, mate. I'm excited now. Yeah, it's only sweat. Yeah, no, it's not. Anyway, um, don't laugh, mate. You'll wash out. It's fine. Um, I made it here tonight for you, lovely people. I nearly didn't make it tonight. Everybody, go ah. Oh. I know. I've had a bit of sad news this week, everybody. I got home this week and I found out my hamster had died. Oh. Yeah, he fell asleep at the wheel. <laughs> and... Thanks for laughing. It's not funny. The poor thing's gone. I've had no luck with pets. Has anybody here got a pet? What have you got, Millie? A dog! I love dogs. I've been out with loads. True fact. Anyway. <laughs> Don't laugh, mate. Check my Facebook. It's like parachute. Honestly. Paul O'Grady visits at Christmas. What have you got, little girl? Two dogs and a cat and a bearded dragon. I think I know her. Um, I don't know what else. And a tarantula. Oh, they're great. We were going to get a tarantula for Christmas because then everybody gets a leg. <laughs> anyway, no. Okay, okay. That's a joke. Don't do it. What have you got, mate? You've got a hamster as well. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't got one now. Um, how about you? Oh, and what? A gecko. Oh, a leopard gecko. Wow, what a combination. <laughs> Not sure how that made. Anyway, got anyway. <laughs> Pretty random cat. Anyway, um, I tell you what, kids, little girl, I tell you what, kids, everybody in the room. I no, don't cry, mate. Don't cry. I've nearly finished. Don't cry. Don't cry, mate. Ten more minutes, I'll get me money. Hold on. Um, hold on. <laughs> Kitty's crying. It's fun. Don't cry. Don't cry. I tell you what, I'll tell you all about it. I went shopping to get a brand new hamster because I've had no luck with pets. I had a cat as well. Who, who's got a cat in here? You had a cat, didn't you? Cats are funny. Oh, you don't like him? Oh. I'll tell you what, I had a cat. I left him in... Right, ladies and gentlemen, I had a cat. I left him in the kitchen on his own, everyone. I don't know why you're going, oh, that's quite normal. But when I left the cat on his own... I know, mate, it's not bad, is it? But when I left the cat on his own, didn't realise, when I left him on his own, he jumped in the washing machine, everyone. Now you can go, ah, oh, that's quite normal, right? I didn't know he was in there. I put a big load on. He drowned everyone. <laughs> Don't worry, he died in pure comfort. <laughs> but... <laughs> so, look at me, he's not joking. <laughs> he didn't die in a washing machine. It's when I put him in the temple dryer. <laughs> well, he's called Fluffy now. Anyway, um, <laughs> softens the blade. Fluffy's gone. <laughs> Thanks, little girl. Fluffy's gone. I went shopping to buy a new hamster. <laughs> Now when I drove to town, the first thing you've got to do, kids, you might not know this, mums and dads do, you've got to park the car, haven't you, everyone? Yeah. 
Yeah, and I was just the kids, well done, you knew. <laughs> Mums and dads, feel free to join in, this is happening. Right? So drive around, right, I was in the car park, round and round, up and down, looking for space. And there was no spaces in the car park. That's right, mate, chaser, chaser. <laughs> Get in, go. Do what, mate? How did I stop the car with the brakes? And... <laughs> <laughs> Little dude, what's your name, man? What's your name? What's your name? Pay attention. What is it? Martin. Cool name. Martin, I'm driving round and round the car park looking for a space. And there was no spaces in the car park because the car park, it was like it is in here tonight, absolutely packed. So I couldn't park my car. Everybody go, oh no. Oh no. And do you know what happened, Martin? I'll tell you. I'm looking for a space round and round the car park from out of nowhere, no spaces, and then a big, Silver Hedgehog. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What did I say? He said big silver hedgehog. Big silver hedgehog. Did I? It was there. Did I really say hedgehog? I'm sorry guys, it's not right. Hedgehogs are they're not big and silver are they? They're small and brown. Sorry, it wasn't a hedgehog. I'm not sorry mate, I've got confused. It was a big Silver BMW. That's nothing like a hedgehog, is it? Hedgehog, BMW. Hedgehog have bricks on the outside, yeah? <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Go on, you may as well. <laughs> yeah. Even some of the kids are clapping at me like that. Yeah. I know, prickly hedgehogs, funny, isn't it? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I said, I know some of the blokes in here didn't laugh and clap then, probably because they got BMWs. Yeah. <laughs> Who's got one? Who's got one? Who's got one? Plus, but, and not the big bloke in the middle, is it? Oh my God, I don't want to say anything. Look at him. He's bigger than the other guy. <laughs> Sorry, mate. If you've got a BMW, fair play, nice car. No. I want a BMW. Is it silver? It is. Oh, man. I was really hoping to dodge it then a bit. Sorry, mate. Look at him. He looks like blue time. Honestly, look at him. He's like, <laughs> anyway, he's a big boy, mate. Look at him. I, I like, I like BMWs, mate. I want one, and I can't afford one. Has anyone here got a Skoda? Have you? Oh, well done, guys. You shouldn't even be here yet. <laughs> but don't laugh, man. Sorry, Skodas are actually posh. I know. Do what? They are. They're really nice. I like Skodas as well. But BMW. What are you, mate? Another bloke. Different car. I'm in the car park looking for a space. Round and round, no spaces. The big silver BMW. Not his, it's not his. Don't look at him, love. Don't look. Don't look. Right. It's not his. Big silver BMW pulled across in front of me, everyone. Yeah. And he parked up in the last spot that was available, everybody. He parked in the disabled spot, everyone. I know. But to make it worse, he parked in the disabled spot, he opened the door of his flashy car. He got out and walked across the car park, and there was nothing wrong with him. Well, don't you hate that, everyone? Yeah, yeah so do I. So I, I run him over. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, kids. I thought, why not? I'll make an honest man out of him, won't I? <laughs> well, if he wants to park there, he's going to have to now in future. So I watched him. He got middle of the car park, a bit like this bloke. I'm timing it, timing it, timing it. Ready? <laughs> From out of nowhere, I'm waiting for him. He got right there. I thought, here he comes, ready? Now! Foot down! Whoop. I hit him, wallop. <laughs> I know, mate, I laughed. <laughs> then, then, then his wife got out of the car, waving her crutches about him. <laughs> Don't laugh, she threw a blue disc in her. Anyway. This is nothing to do with why I went shopping. I went to buy a brand new hamster, didn't I, mate? Where'd you get hamsters from, everyone? Pet shop, that's right. I went to the pet shop. I did. When I walked down the street, kids, listen up. Actually, kids, listen. Whatever you do, children, listen. Don't go into a shop. Pick something up that you want and then walk out. Because that's stealing, isn't it, everyone? It is, it's really bad, but don't do it. The guys did it on the news the other day. About three weeks ago, they went into the big posh shop up in London. What's the posh one up there called? Harrods. No, it's not Harrods, the other one, the department shop. Selfridges, that's the one. On the news, guys went into Selfridges, they had hoodies and masks on. And you don't even have to wear them now. And they went in. They went in, smashed up the glass counters, took 
with lots of jewellery and they ran away everyone. Ooh, it's bad. My you, let's be honest, couldn't have happened to better people, could it? <laughs> sell fridges. <laughs> Should be had up under trades descriptions. They don't even sell fridges. <laughs> oh, come on, mate. Sell fridges. If you thought that was rubbish, imagine my disappointment when I went to Virgin Megastore. <laughs> yeah. Apparently there wasn't one in there, I checked. <laughs> Imagine how my missus felt when I took her to screw fix. <laughs> it's confusing, isn't it? I don't know, it is! Shops don't make sense to me. Right, hang on. You go into Boots, they don't sell Boots. Yeah. Curries! Curries don't sell curries! Exactly. KFC ran out of chicken, and that is all they sell. John Boy. I'll tell you what, mate. Come out of nowhere. Look at him, he's come across, he don't care. Has he stole your sword? Oh. Taking swords from a baby, isn't it? Now shops don't make sense. They really don't. I, not just shops, I just bought a Dyson ball cleaner. Turned out not to be what I thought it was. Yeah. Don't laugh, it hurt me. Honestly, it did. I got admitted to hospital. My missus ran up today. Was he getting on? And she was picking up nicely. Cheers, <laughs> kids. That joke sucks, doesn't it? Anyway. <laughs> You're all laughing, mate. I nearly ended up bagless. <laughs> but shopping. When I went shopping, geez, look. I needed money to buy the hamster. So I went to the bank, everyone. And when I went to the bank, I walked in. No, I didn't. Hang on. I'll set the scene. I didn't wear the posh purple outfit I'm wearing tonight. No, I know. I wore this to impress the ladies. Look who's working. Look at that, fellas. I know. You're relaxing in your t-shirt and shorts. Look at this, purple suit. Get a purple suit. Look at the women in the room. They're all looking at me like this. <laughs> They're all looking at me thinking, fit. <laughs> what did you say, fat? Thanks, mate. <laughs> Cheers. Fat. I know, women in the room, fellas, they're looking at me in me purple, they're going, oh, he looks like a giant dairy milk. <laughs> Come on, girls. Who wants to unwrap a chunky? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Could have said me freaking nuts. Anyway, I went to the bank. When I went to the bank, I went in there, I didn't wear this, I wore more casual. Like my friend who sat with the kids, t-shirt and shorts, you look cool, man. And I know you're not a child because you've got a beard. <laughs> T-shirt and shorts, I walked into the bank like you walked across tonight, so casual gangster pop in here. How right. come, on a beautiful sunny day here in Cornwall, I went in to the bank wearing t-shirt and shorts and I walked in and a man followed me in. He was wearing a massive, long, heavy coat and a balaclava, everyone. Ooh. I know, I looked at him like you guys. I went, oh. <laughs> exactly, oh yeah. I was scared. Yeah. Whoop, Malteser. <laughs> That's not where all more teasers come from, kids. We're all right. Keep eating your revenues. Anyway, he shot him. <laughs> shot him. And the masked man, he turned the gun on me. He went like this. He went, did you see me rob this bank? I went, no, no, I didn't see nothing. I didn't even got eyes. <laughs> so he didn't shoot me, everyone. Get him back of the net. Then he turned the gun on the husband and wife that was stood here. He went, did you see me? What this bite? The bite went, no, no, I didn't, but she did. <laughs> <laughs> but I left. Uh, I left the bank, I went down the street. <laughs> I, know. I was gonna buy something, what was I buying? Can you remember? Hamster. Hamster, well done both of you. Where'd you get hamsters from? Pet shop. Pet shop. What? I didn't get any money. Thanks, Millie. <laughs> Cheers for spotting a hole in my clock. Okay. I didn't need money because I had a phone and I forgot all about that when I went to the bank. It's all right. I paid contactless. It's funny. Anyway, Millie. Cheers. Yeah, thanks for laughing. I'm being heckled here by a five-year-old. Right, anyway. Do you know what, Millie? I went to the... <laughs> Sad or news and that. I went into the pet shop to buy my hamster. Don't worry about the money. I got in there, they'd run out of hamsters, everyone. Oh, come on, guys, no hamsters. Aww. I thought, I can't, I can't go home alone. That'd be bad enough, wouldn't it? So I thought, do you know what? I'll buy a different pet. I bet you can't guess what I bought. Go on. 
You got it right in the first guess. And I don't think anybody heard it. What were you going to guess? A snake is wrong. I tell you what, it was a good guess though. I mean, I might have bought a snake. Why not? It can't run away. <laughs> anyway, do you know what? Millie, you are right. I did buy. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you all. I bought a budgie, everyone. Yeah. Give Millie a cheer. She knew it, everyone. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't. Do what? It could fly out the window. No way. I took my budgie home. I love budgies. Have you got a budgie? No. Just a good guess. Oh, well done. Has anybody out there got a budgie? No? Big fella? No? Lovely lady next to him? Hello. No budgie? What's your name, lovely lady? He's got a pigeon. Has he? He's got a pigeon. Have you really? you got about 50 pigeons. See, I, I knew you were into the birds. Right, okay. Well, no. I, maybe not a budgie, but you like pigeons. All right, lovely lady. What's your name, lovely lady? Sorry. Kirsty. Hello, Kirsty. Now, Kirsty, a big fella. Right, I'm not going to take the mic, mate. She's a lovely girl, and she's yours. Right, so, Kirsty. You, have you got a budgie? No budgie. It's what? A seagull? Have you got a seagull? Right. She's not lying, mate. I just don't think she's friends with you. Right, anyway. You've got the wrong person, mate. I tell you what, Kirsty. No, no, no budgie. Have you seen a budgie there, Kirsty? Yes. Now, have you ever been up to a budgie? Skipped up like this and gone, who's a pretty boy then? You have? I bet you went up like this one. You kissed a budgie. Kirsty's kissed a budgie, everyone. Now, see, a pigeon is different. I bet you wouldn't kiss a pigeon. Have you kissed a pigeon? No? How about a parrot? She kissed a budgie, no parrot. No pigeon. I bet you kissed a cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> She's thinking about it. <laughs> That's worrying, isn't it? Look at the kids going to cockatoo, the bird with the big feathers on their head. Yeah. <laughs> they always stick up when they're excited, don't they, Kirsty? <laughs> <laughs> That's why right, they bob up and down. It's fun, isn't it? I... They like bananas, do they? Banana beaks. Oh, banana beaks. Yeah. I know what you mean now. I was getting confused, eh? I'll tell you what, Millie. I didn't even buy a cockatoo, or, or a parrot, or a pigeon. I bought a budgie, like you said, and I like my budgie. What? Why didn't I buy a dog or a cat? Or a mouse? I didn't buy a mouse. I used to have a mouse called Elvis. He was caught in a trap. <laughs> um, why did I have traps? For the purposes of the joke. Um, can, we, Millie, can we have a chat in a minute? I'm a bit busy now, is that alright? Anyway. I love kids. <laughs> Can't feed them. Shame that. Anyway, um, I I took my budgie home. Millie, do you know what? I took my budgie home, and like you said, he could have flown out the window, couldn't he? So I didn't want that to happen. So I put him in the cage, not the one with the wheel. That's dangerous. <laughs> but I put him in the cage. I left him there. Went in the kitchen to make a cup of tea for me, not for the budgie. Don't be dead. <laughs> when I come back in, sad news, everyone. Oh. I needed to remember to lock it. Oh yeah, I did. I locked it. He was in there, but sadder than that, the budgie had fallen off the perch. Everyone, Aww. and he's lying because he, he broke. He broke his little leg. Everyone, I don't even know. How I did that, mate. <laughs> anyway, done it twice. Oh my God, what's happening to these blanks? They're getting bigger and bigger every time. Oh. Is they, what is it? They're sleeping in the greenhouse over there. What's happening? Right, anyway, I'll tell you what. I took the, <laughs> the budgie home. And, no, don't laugh, love. He fell off the perch. How does the budgie fall? Maybe he was budgie jumping. <laughs> anyway, he got a broken leg, and I thought, I can't afford to take him to the vets. Vets are expensive, aren't they, everyone? Yeah. And I spent a lot of money on a hamster and a cat and, and a budgie, and I got robbed at the bank. No money. And a snake. I didn't buy the snake. And a dog. All right. <laughs> And a cat and a mouse, I remember, there's lots of pets. <laughs> I know, and a pigeon, no, it wasn't me, he's got a pigeon, right? And a what? And a soundproof booth, good idea, let's get one. Anyway, oh, and a bunny rabbit, I haven't got a rabbit. Have you got a rabbit? No. Your cousin has? Is it hers or a mummy's? 
And he's hers. Oh. Anyway, a cousin, right, cousin. Kids, Billy, hang on. <laughs> Wait for this, Billy. It's moments like this, I wish some kids were still self isolating. Anyway, do you know what? <laughs> the budgie, listen, he's injured, he's got a broken leg, and I'm taking so long to fix him up. I can't take him to the vet. Vets are so expensive. I thought, do you know what? It's only a broken leg, I'll repair it myself. So I left him there, still locked in, don't ask. <laughs> what? I could take his leg. I went in the kitchen. I opened up the scrappy kitchen drawer. Have you got a kitchen drawer full of rubbish? In fact, go in and check now. But anyway, I've got a drawer. I'm joking, Millie. Stay, stay, Jake. So, do you know what? I opened up the drawer in the kitchen and everyone's got a kitchen drawer full of rubbish, right? Batteries and pamphlets and Chinese menus. What? You've got a bin full of rubbish? Been done again. You've got a bin full of rubbish. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really? Come on, mate. What would you do with it? <laughs> yeah. I used to have a girlfriend, and I really showed her how to put your, you know, put your foot down really far. <laughs> yeah, but she's seen a bin like that. Anyway, um, this budgie. I've got a broken leg in there. I'm thinking, right. I opened up the drawer. No tape. Oh no. So I had to find something different. I found two swan vesta matches, long thread of old cotton. Put perfect. Went back in there, pulled the budgie's leg straight. Once I got his leg straight, I put a match down either side of it, wrapped the cotton round really, really tight, made a splint. Good idea, wasn't it, everyone? It was, it was brilliant. Up to the point where the budgie walked across the sandpaper at the bottom of the cage. Ooh. That's my grandson. Exactly, mate. If the matches were the other way up, he would have been fine, but no. Uh, yeah. Don't laugh, mate. He went like that. If anything, he found the flames. <laughs> anyway. What are you doing? If you're interested, the meat fell off the bone. Um, that's what I had for my dinner. And then tonight, I got the phone call. They wrote me up this check. Why don't you jump in the car, go down to lovely, beautiful Hendra? And I said, there's hundreds and thousands of people on holiday enjoying yourselves. Are you enjoying yourselves, everyone? You are? You are, aren't you, Millie? I'll tell you what, kids are loving it or another. Have you been to the beach yet? Not been. I love the beach. You went. You went in the sea. Oh, I wish you were down the beach now, it's brilliant. Um, in a cave. In a weird cave. I think this conversation's going somewhere else. Anyway, um, it was scary. I'll tell you what. Did it? Stairs leading up to the cave. Are you sure? Well, the car park. Out. All right, just a second. I'll tell you what, little girl, Millie, I went, was it? <laughs> oh, you never stop. <laughs> I'm not gonna look. Do you know what, Millie, I went down the beach. I love the beach. I went to the beach last summer. Do you remember last summer? It was a Wednesday. Good day. <laughs> and I went to the beach, sun in the sky. Millie, this is your turn, ready? Sky, sun in the sky, everybody go, woo! Woo! No, 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 like, like you mean it. Come on, sun in the sky! Woo! Sand on the beach, Woo! surf in the sea. Woo! In fact, it was such a lovely day, I didn't care. Sun, sand, surf. I went down there, ladies, 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 Kirsten, ladies. I went down the beach, I wore nothing but my speedo trunks, everyone. Woo! Yeah, I look good. Don't laugh, love, I did. I look like Tom Daly. Well, if he was my age, he'd let himself go. I'm right? more belly flop than backflip. But anyway. I'm down here in my speedo. I know, love. It's the last time I ever buy cheap alternative clothing online. <laughs> Speedos, the women S fell off. <laughs> and... <laughs> Don't worry if you didn't get that, it's all right. I feel like that joke's like a Mexican laugh. It's going. <laughs> right. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Cheers, mate. You just got it well done. If you're not getting that joke, maybe you're not good at spelling. Or maybe you're dyslexic. That's the technical term, isn't it? If it is any dyslexic in? No way, me too! I found out by mistake. I did. I was invited to a toga party and I went dressed as a goat. <laughs> wow. Right, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't if you didn't get that joke, you are dyslexic. Alright? So if you're sitting there right now going, hey, toga, go. Well, and you're thinking, I don't like dyslexic jokes. 
That's really awkward because all complaints have to be in writing. <laughs> but anyway, down the beach. Sun, sun, surf, speedos, no S, walking. And when I went, I know, mate, cheers. I went up the beach, I had advice from our main man in the box. Cody, everyone, give Cody a big cheer. You saw him earlier, the great showman, he knows what he's talking about. He turned to me, he said, Jack, if you want to impress people on the beach, what you do is you get a pebble. He said, take the pebble, stick that pebble down your trunks, and walk up and down the beach like I do. I spoke to him, I said, your advice, Cody, is rubbish. People keep looking at me, laughing and pointing. He said, put the pebble down your front. <laughs> no, I'm going to oh, Cheers, mate. You're going to try that tomorrow. Sun, sun, sir, speedos, no S, pebble. <laughs> I'm looking good. Big pebble, big as a turnip. And I walked. <laughs> and when I went up the beach, do you know what, kids? Dinner. Children were playing in the sand. Everybody go, ah. Oh. Uh, Two hey. boys, one of them was skipping. Skipping. Oh, no. He stopped skipping. He dug a pit in the sand, and the little boy went and sit in the pit. No, sit. No. <laughs> and when like this, he went. <laughs> now, to be fair, you're laughing. I didn't know what he was doing. I thought I laughed. <laughs> well, excuse me, little boy. Devil. What are you doing? And he looked up. And ladies and gentlemen, we all know what kids are like nowadays, don't we? There's two types of children. There's the lovely, quiet, innocent children. And then, there's the gobby ones, isn't there? <laughs> She's not here. Anyway, this little kid, he was proper gobby. I know, really bad. I went, what are you doing, mate? He looked up, full of confidence. He went like this, he went, well, obviously. He said, I'm a long distance lorry driver, innit? <laughs> oh bless him. Little boy was pretending to be a long distance lorry driver. <laughs> with that, his little friend that was with him started doing press ups. I said, what are you doing then? He said, I'm looking after his missus while he's away. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing, it's worrying, isn't it? What? Yeah, kids are growing up too fast. How many people think children are growing up too fast? Yeah. yeah. They love arcades, don't you kids? You're in there through the double doors. Woohoo! Flashing lights, buttons, levers. Woohoo! You all think you're on tipping point. Come on! <laughs> I saw kids in an arcade running around. One boy stopped his friend. He went, wait, wait. <laughs> he said, come here, look. He said, look there. There's a condom by the radiator. His mate went, what's a radiator? <laughs> wow. Kids are the same. My little cousin Ellie, she's only three, everybody go, oh, come on, three years old. And she looked up at her mum, and she's like, all the kids down here tonight like asking questions. Yeah, they really do, don't they? She looked up at her mum, three years old, that horrible face, who, what, how, where, when, why. And she looked up and asked her the one awkward question no parent knows how to deal with, with a three-year-old. She looked up like this, she went, mummy? Mummy? <laughs> You're laughing. Her mum didn't laugh. She looked down, she went, Ooh. She's only three, I'll be as honest as I can. She went, right. <laughs> Darling, babies, listen carefully. Babies, they come from mummy's tummy. That's where babies come from. There you go. Unfortunately, it's not enough information for a three-year-old, is it? She looked up, she went, what? Huh? From mummy's tummy? From how's it getting there? <laughs> Her mum didn't laugh. She looked down, she went, oh. No, really. Well, darling, she said, Daddy. Yeah? She brought Daddy into it. OMG. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> In case you are dyslexic, you thought I spelled Mog. <laughs> she went, Daddy, darling. Now, Daddy takes. Well, Daddy takes a little seed. Daddy takes a little seed. Puts it in mummy's tummy, and then that grows into a baby. There you go. Still not enough. She went, what? A little seed? Wow. Do you have to swallow it? <laughs> Her mum said, no, 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 darling. That's where you want a new dress. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get a new dress. Oh, no. Oh, well, tonight. <laughs> I've never had that as a handful of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, tonight, I'll tell you what, lovely lady. Tonight, semen, not semen, that's it. Sorry, um, semen, semen. Step bit of time. <laughs> See, I said there's so many lovely ladies in the room who have got new dresses and outfits on, they look great. Right? Exactly, you're on holiday, why not? Something to see. I thought, as a, spe as a special treat, holiday treat, I'd bring along this. Now I know, love, it's not what you're thinking. This here, right, this is a mic stand, it goes up and down. Fuck. But, at the top of it is a magic trick. Now, would you like to see a magic trick, everyone? No, come on, everybody. Do you want to see a magic trick, everyone? Right, we're going to do this. We're going to do it. Watch this. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Yes, get excited. Not, not one, not two, but tonight, three bits of magic rope, everyone. Woo! Have a look. They're all different. I'll show you. First of all, eh? Are you talking to me? You're the baby. Oh, that's fine. Lovely lady over here. What's your name, lovely lady? Millie. Millie. Another Nothing to do with Millie down here. No, no mad. Same gob, different name. Same gob, different name. It's like it's catching, isn't it? I tell you what. <laughs> Millie, I love it. Yeah, keep drinking, love. You should sit closer to the wall because that's plastered as well. Anyway, um, <laughs> Millie. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> Millie. <laughs> We're having fun, aren't we? We're having fun. <laughs> Millie. I'll show you all the ropes, they're all different. Here we go, are you ready? First of all, look at a small bit of magic rope, everyone. Woo! Oh, come on, guys, it's better than that small bit. Woo! As you can see, I've got a medium bit of magic rope. Woo! And as you can see, I've got a massive, great big long one. Woo! Thanks. Now watch. I'm uh, bragging, mate, I'm bragging. <laughs> I'd be happy if it was that. Anyway. <laughs> small, medium, long, and replace them in my hand. Yes, my hand. Not that one, this one. I know, mate. Watch. Place me in my hand tonight with magic. Yes. <gasps> magic. Right. It's more magical than that. Magic. Are you ready, boys? Sit down. Jump boy, jump boy, jump boy, jump boy, jump boy, jump boy. Sit down. Magic. With magic, I'm going to make small, medium, long. The same length, wouldn't that be amazing? Go, yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to do this. Watch this. Are you ready, John Boy? Sit down. In front of your eyes tonight, small, medium, long. I'm going to place them. What? He stood up. I know, it's all right. You can't see him when he sat down. Watch, little man. I'm going to take the ends to the top. We're going to start with the small one. Are you watching? The small one first. The small one goes up to the top to meet the other ends, right? So the small one up to the top. The small one is up there. It's followed by. Well done, both of you. The medium one. The medium one is followed by the long, the long one. Now, once you've got your end up, what do you do then? <laughs> Anyone remember? <laughs> no? All right, I'll tell you. Watch this. You get your end up, and then, obviously, you've got to tuck in your dangling bit. Because right? when you look at it, that one's up there, and he's all the way down there, and that's not natural. So, take that one and put it in. Oosh. Now you've got it prepared. End up. Dangle a bit, tucked in. Oh, uh. <coughs> yeah, don't laugh. Could do that joke last year, wouldn't have the call. <laughs> anyway. End up, dangle a bit, tucked in, and we say magic words. Now, Blake, what are the magic words, mate? Abracadabra. That is a good magic word. Abracadabra. In fact, a lot of people do use that, don't they? Do you know any others? No. All right. Well, let's teach you some. Go on. Well, how to disappear? Good one, mate. Um, magic glass. Empty glass. Oh, empty glass. Empty glass. That's right, mate. I tell you what. I'm going to teach you a new magic word because you are only seven and education. Go on, little lady. What's your? What? Go on. Expelliarmus. See, that's a good one. That's Harry Potter, isn't it? I can't do that. Copyright awkward. I know, I can't afford the rights. Right. I'll tell you what, instead of expelling armors, in fact, I've said it three times, I it shouldn't matter. Rubbish, hold on. <laughs> but we're going to do a different one. How about this? Did you know Go this one, little lady? Did you know um, Izzy Wizzy? Let's no? get busy. You Let's busy. get busy. Let's get busy. Extended version. Thank you, boss. How about this one? Did you know this one? Uh, Shazam. Yeah? yeah You've watched that movie. Here's another one. Hocus Pocus. You seen that movie? 
NASA magic word is, oh, you've never seen it. Right, I'll tell you what, it won't be long until it's sort of Halloween, and that's a Halloween film. I'll tell you what, we'll do Hocus Pocus. Everyone in the room, for my mate, and another little like, thing. What? Stranger Danger. Stranger Danger. <laughs> that's not so much a magic word, mate. All right, I'm the stranger and the danger. Cheers for that, right. I've introduced myself now, it's too late. I'll tell you what, Blake, everyone in the room is going to do the new magic word, Hocus Pocus, not Stranger Day. Yay! After three, Hocus Pocus, are you ready? One! I know, I know. <laughs> Cheers. There are two. Right. I went to school. Wait, for a laugh, let's split you up. Not left and right, it's not fair. We'll do a blend, we'll do a blend. We'll do the men versus the ladies. Oh yeah, a little competition. Right. In fact, we'll let the men go first for fun. All the men, after three, say loud and clear, hocus. Ready, one, two, three, men. Hocus. Brilliant. All the ladies go pocus. Hocus. Okay, later. Yeah, later. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> There's a few yeah. blokes out there going, I'm trying that when I get back to the caravan. <laughs> right. Let's see if it works. Small, medium, long, magically come. <gasps> the same length, everyone. Come on. You don't believe me? I'll show you. Ooh, one the same length, everybody. Oh, come on, guys. One the same length. Even two the same length. Three the same length. That was great. He's almost speechless. Watch. Watch. Watch this. Three bits the same. As you can see. Hang on. What's going on there? Wah, wah, wah. Thanks, sound effects man. <laughs> it's all right, I'll hold it up, nobody will notice. <laughs> yes, he's right, but, but you see that? I know I'm doing it wrong, mate. It's not my fault. It's because I'm not a real magic man. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even do this rubbish, mate. They pull rabbits from hats. I can't pull a rabbit from a hat. They pull a hair from my bum. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. Tell you what. <laughs> hey, did you know the hair? that sticks out of your bum. <laughs> it's the longest hair on the human body, everyone. It is. It's not the ones on your head like people think. No, it's the hair that sticks out your bum. It don't look much, it's a little tiny bit, but that's the beginning, the tip, the start. They stick out like that, the rest of it grows in their little tiny bits, it grows back in your body, in and out of everything, and right up to your head, and it connects to your eyelashes. It does! You try pulling one out when you get back to your caravan, you're going to think, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you kids are laughing, you wait till your dad try it in the morning. Right, anyway. <laughs> oh, hopeless. Right. Anyway, right. Let's see if it works. All right, one of the ropes is the wrong length. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you guys. I'm going to take that rope away, I'm going to put it around my neck and leave it there. Two ropes, the same length. Oh, I took the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter, nobody's really watching. <laughs> you are? Yeah. I'm going to start again. I don't care. All right, I'll All right, two ropes roughly the same length. Real, real magic ropes. They don't care. They would take the end of one, right? They take the end of one, they take the end of another. Like that. They'd use Machikaman's glue, they'd rub it, and they would repair two ropes like that, and they'd repair them, and they'd make, in front of your eyes, one. Like that. <laughs> Come on! Do that again? I can't. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll whiz the ends around because that reminds me of a nightclub I went to. <laughs> you win. Here we go. Two ends, one rope. <laughs> Blake. <laughs> I'm going to take the two ends, hold them in full view in one hand. Are you watch in one hand. Watch. I'll hold them both there. Once you've got the ends in full view, put your hand in the middle and give it a quick tug. Are you watching? One, two, three, bang. Two bits of magic rope, come on. <laughs> and, oh, look at that. They're the same length, everyone. <laughs> oh, don't look at the top. What? I thought it was a fake one. I am, mate, it's still gone wrong. I'll tell you what, little dude. I've forgotten your name. What's your name again? Oh, that's right, Martin. Martin. John Boy, watch. Couldn't forget it, Blake. 
To be honest, mate, I've never spoken to my family this much. <laughs> Blake, 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 pay attention, Blake, 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 Blake. Watch, I'm gonna take the third rope, bring it back, I'm gonna make them small, medium, long. <laughs> no, actually, that's not good enough. Let's have a, right, you wanna see something better, didn't you? You said be better. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Who wants to see a massive long one? Yeah. <laughs> that lady. <laughs> I'm not gonna say Kirsty, right mate? Perfect. Um, but I am gonna do it. One massive long one. Lots of kids wanna see it. There's a few ladies, a couple of blokes, we're doing it. Take the ends. Right, I'll tell you what, we'll take the ends to the top. Rope number one is followed by rope number two. Two, which is followed by rope number three. You're the people that count. Now watch. Once you get your end up, stick your end in. Best bit. Oh yeah, take it, stick it. Oosh. It's in. It's followed by that end, which is followed by that end, which is followed by that end, followed by that end and that end. Stick them in, say the magic words. Are you ready? After three, hocus pocus. Ready? One, two, three, men. Hocus. Ladies. Hocus. Beautiful, in front of your eyes. One. <gasps> Massive long bit. The magic road. Come on, guys. So they would just take those ends off, and that would get a big cheer. I, I didn't, mate. I got two ends and one rope. Watch. I'll take the rope, I'll roll it up, and this is how I get a big cheer. Because I've rolled it up about there. Alright? And in front of your eyes, once I've rolled it up, I make it a small bit of magic rope. Come on. Come on, small bit. Right. Medium bit. And then a long bit. Come on. Woo! I know, mate. Am I Michael Jackson? What? <laughs> Come on. Anyway. Blake, what's this? I'm going to make the ropes disappear. Watch. Can you see the rope, everyone? Okay. Like, can you see me? Yeah. Right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> watch this. Look at the rope, watch the rope. Look at the rope, watch the rope. Hello, mate. Can I sing happy birthday to you? I will at the end. We're not there yet. Hold on. Wait for this. John boy, John boy, John boy, John boy. Sit down. Look at the rope, watch the rope. Look at the rope, watch the rope. Look at the rope, watch the rope. Everybody, shut your eyes. Amazing. Anyway. What? Well, you should have had your eyes shut. Anyway, um, I'll tell you what, mate. It is behind me. It's over there next to my career. Um, but we are near the end of the show, and I tell you what, for you, little man, because you've been actually, you kids have been great, and you've swept the stage. It's perfect. And tonight, how old are you, John Boy? Five. Cool. I was your age when I was five. Captain America, jump off, jump off. Jump. Is it your birthday as well, really? Is it? What's your name? Was it? Bernie. Cool name, Bernie. And John Boy. Everyone in the room, we're gonna sing happy birthday for these two kids. Here we go, nice and loud, don't be shy. Here we go, ready? All together. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Come on, face them. Happy birthday to you. Louder. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Give them a cheer, everybody, well done. Five years old, I'll tell you what, brilliant. Hey boys, I hope you enjoy your birthday. Go over there and the rest of the family are going to give you the bumps. Um, do you still do that? I don't know. Take your sword back, mate. Don't lose it. Is that it? No, no, no. Off the stage, mate. Off the stage. You can't come up here. It's very dangerous. I'll tell you what, though, kids, tonight, you've been great. Mums and dads, I hope you've had an enjoyable night. Have you enjoyed it, everyone? Yay! I do have to go. And these kids probably have to go to bed soon. It's bedtime, isn't it? No? Who's in the caravan? Put your hand up. Right, when you get back to your caravan, kids especially, right, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. When you get into caravans tonight, get in to your lovely little tiny fish finger bed. Yeah. Well, when you get back tonight, get in your little beds. Timber. No, you think I'm a lumberjack. Blake, I'll tell you what, mate. I'm not gonna, I'm not, I bet you don't swim much. Yeah. Couldn't keep your mouth closed long enough, you. <laughs> anyway, Blake, when you get back tonight, get into your fish finger bed, go straight to sleep. I know you don't want to, kids, but if you go straight to sleep on holiday, it means you can get up earlier for ice cream and swimming. Yeah! I know, mate! <laughs> <laughs>
You really need your sugar, that's what you need, right? Yes, floss it, floss it, yeah, candy floss it. I'll tell you what they'll do. <laughs> it's break dancing. That was actually pretty good. Blake, don't fall over again unless we're filming. Right. But get into this bed tonight, go straight to sleep. I'll tell you why, kids, because if you go straight to sleep on holiday, you can't get up early for ice cream and swimming. And when you're asleep, do you know what it really means? It means, woohoo! Mum and Dad are actually on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what they do when you're asleep, do you? I'll tell you. When you're asleep on holiday, Mum and Dad have got one of these. Oh, look at that. It's a magic mouse. If you can't see it, you'll never see it. If you stay up, you might hear it. <laughs> what did you say you heard it? Good girl. Well, well. What? No, don't look for it. No. Don't look for it. No, don't look for it. You might find a rabbit. Don't look for it, alright? If you, if you hear the magic mouse tonight, and you're lying in bed, you're going, oh, the mouse right. tastes this one looks like dinosaur. <laughs> Don't get out of bed, there's no point. No way, because by the time you get out of bed, put on your dressing gown and slippers, you'll go down the middle of a caravan. You'll be too late, because it's a magic mouse, and magic mouses only last for two minutes. No. I know, mate. You think it might be a monster? <laughs> Is that what they said in there? Oh, the monster! No, no. It's a magic mouse, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what, I, I think there was only dogs that could hear you then, you got that high pitch. <laughs> i tell you what, Blake, tonight whatever you do, kids, eh? Kids are like farts, you just get tolerate your own. Anyway, Blake, Blake, off the stage, you're not, you're not Eddie Eagle. What was that? Blake, Blake, when you get to bed tonight, do go to sleep. Because mum and dad need magic mouse time. And I'll tell you what, no, it's true. A kid last night said he heard a magic seagull. <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes you wonder what was going on in that caravan, doesn't it? <laughs> well, he said it was up on the roof. Well, well, key parents. <laughs> She'll do anything for bread, up not you? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I know, Blake. Look at that line across it. Fun. Anyway. Do you want me? Why am I wearing elf shoes? Because I am actually a biscuit. <laughs> anyway. My mate there. What's your name, little man? Carter, cool name. Carter, I've got to go. I think it's been fun tonight. Hopefully you've had a bit of a laugh. You had a laugh, everyone? Yay! Cheers, guys. With everything that's happening in the world, we all needed a bit of a laugh, I'm sure. And ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've had a laugh. And tonight, I hope that you took everything I've said as a bit of fun. If in any way, shape or form, I've upset or offended any one of you, then please, 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 please get a grip. <laughs> all right? It's only meant as a bit of fun, and it's meant to be just a bit of humour. Um, and I've, we have had a lot of hot, sunny weather, and I thought it would have melted all the snowflakes. So, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it is only intended as a bit of fun. If you think I've said anything tonight that the children shouldn't have heard, please bear in mind, if you love them, they'd be in bed for now. <laughs> so, uh, oh no, you're scarred for life, I don't care, you're not mine. <laughs> anyway, but it has been fun. And I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, have a great time. It just reminded me tonight that we're all back to normal. <laughs> I know, it is a shame, isn't it? Um, no, it's great. You're gonna miss me. Carter, Blake, you won't miss me. Oh, I won't. Feelings mutual, Carter. Um, do I like your shoes, Carter? I love your shoes. In fact, I wish you were eating it. Um, Blake, is it Blake? Oh, that's Carter. I got confused. Oh, so angry. Wow, careful, careful, careful. Blake. Kids, John Boy, my mate Tony, I forgot his name, one. done well so far. <laughs> Captain America, yeah. <laughs> For seven. I know Blake, 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 because I don't care. <laughs> but Blake, I'm not being a meanie, mate, I'm being realistic. Kids, I've got home. I've got my own children to look after. I've got my little boy Freddy, everyone. <laughs> no, he just started walking, everybody. Don't hear that bit, ladies, he's 10. <laughs> um, but he is cool. And I'll tell you what, if he turns out half as cool as most of these kids, I'll be very, very happy. Especially this one. I want my little boy to clean up. <laughs> he's doing really well, sweeping up front. Boys, it's been fun. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great time. I hope you have a wonderful time here on holiday. You've got a brilliant place.
Thank you.